Adam, do you know Kalpana Chavla? Wasn't she an astronaut? Yes, Adam. Sit back. I'll tell you her story. A true journey from a small town to the stars. Kalpana Chavla was born on 17th March 1962 in Karnal, a small town in Haryana, India. Her name means imagination, and imagination is exactly what she had in abundance. Even as a little girl, she was fascinated by the stars. She would lie on the roof, staring at the night sky, and dream about flying. Despite societal expectations, her parents encouraged her curiosity. Her father ran a tire shop and her mother supported education. They believed in giving their daughter a chance to explore. In school, Kalpana was quiet, curious, and extremely determined. She asked many questions, especially about how planes flew and why stars twinkled. While her classmates were playing games, she was building model airplanes. Her teachers noticed her talent and encouraged her to pursue engineering, something unusual for girls in those days. Kalpana was determined. She said, I want to touch the sky. Kalpana joined Punjab Engineering College in Chandigarh, where she was the only woman in her aeronautical engineering batch. It wasn't easy. Some people doubted her. Others thought she should choose a simpler path. But Kalpana had a strong mind and a gentle heart. She worked hard, stayed focused, and graduated with flying colors. Her dream was bigger. She wanted to study aerospace engineering in America. So, she applied to the University of Texas at Arlington. Her family supported her decision. She boarded her first international flight, holding on to her dreams with both hands. The United States was very different. New people, new language, and new culture. But Kalpana didn't give up. She worked part-time jobs, studied long nights, and never missed a chance to learn. She earned her master's degree and later completed her PhD in aerospace engineering. She even earned her pilot's license, taking to the skies every chance she got. Flying gave her peace. It reminded her of her childhood dreams. Kalpana joined NASA in 1988 as a researcher in fluid dynamics. She was thrilled. But she had a bigger dream. To become an astronaut. In 1994, she applied for NASA's astronaut training program. Out of thousands of applicants, only a few are chosen. Kalpana was one of them. She went through intense physical and mental training, swimming in space suits, surviving underwater drills, learning robotics, and flying high speed jets. Finally, the day came. In 1997, Kalpana flew aboard the Space Shuttle Columbia on mission STS-87. She was the first woman of Indian origin to fly to space. She spent 15 days conducting experiments and viewing Earth from above. She said, when you look at the Earth from space, you don't see borders. You see one beautiful planet. Her name and face were celebrated across the world. She became a symbol of courage and possibility. Kalpana returned a hero. In India, students cheered her name. Young girls wrote her letters. She responded with encouragement. You are the future. Dream big. Work hard. She continued working at NASA, preparing for her second mission. She was calm, wise, and committed to scientific progress. In January 2003, Kalpana embarked on her second mission aboard STS-107. Along with six other astronauts, she performed over 80 scientific experiments in space. They studied how gravity affects life, fire, and technology. Kalpana enjoyed the work. 
she sent emails to friends and told them how happy she was. Space, she wrote, is where I feel alive. On 1st February 2003, as Columbia re-entered Earth's atmosphere, disaster struck. A small piece of foam had damaged the wing during launch. It went unnoticed. As the shuttle descended, the heat broke through the wing, and the shuttle disintegrated in the sky. All seven astronauts, including Kalpna, were lost. The world mourned. Flags flew at half-mast. Tears flowed in every corner of India. Her story was over, but her legacy had just begun. Kalpna's life became a guiding light. Schools and scholarships were named after her. Streets, satellites, and even a spacecraft bore her name. Young students learned about her in textbooks. Her words became mantras. The path from dreams to success does exist. If this story inspired you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. Tell us in the comments. What's your biggest dream?